Tonight we're going to have pizza for supper. So I thought I'd show you our version of pizza at our house. It's very simple and I thought I'd show you the ingredients before I slice and dice. But I have here, this is a 14 inch pan, some mozzarella, I have basil, oregano, garlic, salt, and red pepper flakes. Those are bacon bits, mushrooms, a pound of Italian sausage, olives, onion, this is Contadina's thick, extra thick and zesty, I like that sauce. And I have for my, uh, oh and a pepper, and I have for my crust, I've been using this. I used to try to make my own with a bread machine and different ways, but this really works well. They also have a thin crust version. For the 14 inch pan, I'm going to use two bags of this. So let me start putting this together. I want to show you one more thing I do regularly around here. I buy at Sam's a huge bag of real bacon bits. They're really good, but there's only two of us. So I take the bag, I break it down, and I use my sealer to seal up the majority. I put it in the freezer, and then I just took some out of there, and I have some bacon bits to use. But as I use the bag, I cut the top off, get out what I want, and reseal it. I just keep resealing the same bag. And this will keep a long, long, long time. We have freezers that are not frost-free, so our food lasts many times longer than if you have a frost-free freezer. But this is what I do with the bacon bits. I'm encouraging you to look into a food saver um, because it saves us a lot of money. I'm now ready to start my dough. Like I said, I'm going to use Martha White's. I use two of these because I have a 14 inch pan. And the first thing you do with this is I've set my oven at 450 degrees. I add a cup, because I'm using two, I use a cup of hot water. And you stir it with a fork about 30 times. Now what I'm going to do is uh, spread a little bit of oil over this. This is what the directions say. Then I flip it and do the other side and I will cover it with a tea towel for five minutes. Let it rest a little, then we'll put it into the pan. Five minutes are done, so now I'm going to take my dough and put it into the pan. And all you do is spread it out. By the way, I never tell you guys, but I wash my hands all the time. I'm over there washing my hands. So I'm just gonna put it into the pan, and then when I'm done, you prick it a lot of times on the bottom. There, that's coming out nice. Make sure there's no really thin spots on the bottom. Put them up the side if you can. Like I said, this is a 14 inch metal pan. There, that looks good. Now you take a fork, this is all per the directions on the Martha White bag, and you prick it many times. There you go. And I'm going to stick this in the oven on the bottom shelf, the lowest shelf, for five minutes. Okay, the crust has been in the oven for five minutes. Now I'm going to assemble. Now, as you know, everybody's taste in pizza is different. So, use whatever you want. I, I showed you already what we're, I'm going to do. I probably don't put on as much tomato sauce as some people do, but... And I just kind of... Oh, I suppose I should use the back of a spoon, but oh well. My handy tool is always right there for my bidding. All right, now is when I put my spices on. And I have my spices here. I have some red pepper flakes. Because remember, I used the mild sausage. I browned that earlier. I'll just put some of this on. Not too much. That's dangerous. And I have some garlic salt. Some of that on. Get it loaded up. I have oregano that I dried this summer. And because it's so pungent, I probably won't put quite as much of that on. When you grow your own and dry it, it's far more flavorful. So some recipes I have to cut the spice in half or so it'll be too strong. Here's some basil I did. And a little basil goes a long way for me. There we go. So I have my spices on. Here's the mild Italian sausage I did earlier. This is going to be so good. Uh, it makes a lot of leftovers too. Martin will probably have about three pieces. I'll have one and we'll have quite a bit left over. I like it cold. Martin heats it up. See, everybody's so different on their preference with pizza. There we go. 
Just about done with this. Okay, the sausage is on. Here are the bacon bits. Just a few bacon bits around there. And you know, every once in a while I'll put on ham, but I'm not doing that tonight. This is one onion, but I'm not going to use the whole thing. I'll just sprinkle some on. I used to layer some of this onion and stuff on so thick. We decided we really didn't like that. Here's some mushrooms. These are about five mushrooms. I'll probably put some in our salad, but probably a couple mushrooms would be plenty. And of course I have some pepper. This is one red pepper. I didn't have a green or I would have used that. There we go. Load it up as heavy as you like. I have green olives. And I will have some black olives going on also. There we go. Now the black olives. And this is ready to go back in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. The thing that I look for is the crust on the bottom. I don't want to burn the crust on the bottom. Then I will put the cheese on and it goes back in for about 5 minutes. So this is ready to go back in the oven. I'll come back when that's ready. Something I haven't mentioned before in my baking, let me turn that off. This has been in the oven for 14 minutes. It calls for 15. But when I, a recipe says do it for a certain amount of time, I never do it. I always do it at least 5 minutes less. So I did this for 10 minutes and checked it, and then for 4 more minutes and it's fine. I wanted to make sure that the crust underneath was good. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's nice tan brown not being burned. So. Don't do the recipe the amount of time they tell you. Always experiment. Everything is different. The ingredients are different. The type of pan you're using is different. Even the weather can make a difference. So if it says 30 minutes for a cake, I do 20 and keep checking it. You put too much time and effort into these things not to have it go right. So now I'm going to put cheese on. I'm probably going to use about three cups. And some nice Sargentos advertising for Sargentos, I guess. There we go. Now, at our house, we consider pizza to be the perfect meal because you have a slice of bread, you have meat, and you have a lot of vegetables and some dairy. So, that's our story, and we're going to stick with that. There we go. I think that's good. Now, this will probably be back in for about five minutes, and, and again on the lowest shelf. Here we go. Beautiful homemade pizza. I left it in the oven for about five more minutes and the cheese is just as we like it. Now you're going to notice that when you bake at home from scratch, it does take a little bit of effort, but it is well worth it. Uh, let me get Martin a couple pieces here. I'll take these to him. I also want to tell you that one of my favorite channels on YouTube, if you have not discovered it before, is Village Life. They have quite a huge following, and to watch that little old lady have that knife between her feet on a little stool, it's, and she's chopping up onions to finely diced, it's quite a thing to watch. Try Village Life sometime. I think you'd enjoy it. Well, that's pizza at our house. We're going to have it right now. I hope you can try it, experiment with whatever ingredients you like, and have fun with it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.